What is good? We are back. Merry Christmas. Happy early new year to everyone. I hope everyone had a great time with their family and friends. As you can see, we got a nice little batch of orders right here. I guess we'll start off down here. Very nice jacket right there. This is the Yankees Authentic Starter Diamond Collection. With the Diamond Collection stuff, it has that white on the inside, which is a little different than the Majestic and stuff like that. The more you know. Here we got a Gore-Tex Brand Ambassador Jacket. Be honest with y'all, I've thrifted that like four years ago. Maybe even five plus years ago. A long time ago. Thought it was an awesome jacket didn't really put it on ebay till like last year kind of been sitting finally it's going out but uh someone's definitely going to appreciate that piece because it's a nice one we got a bucks jacket right there we got the tsk gta shirt we got to shout out that person real quick shouts to javier from cali for grabbing that shirt he hit us up on ebay so we greatly appreciate the support we got some interesting orders going across this bottom row here one thing i can say about it it looks like it's very comfortable i'm not really a yeezy guy but i've heard obviously that yeezys are super comfortable i know a ton about these though if you know you know the roshi run in general but not only just the roshi run in general the yeezy fb roshi run this was a time back in the day for sure we got these 700 laceless mnvns funny because i've had a few resellers come in lately they've been doing a lot of business with us which is totally awesome obviously we love to move product and a lot of them lowballed us on these i know they don't really sell well but i knew these were gonna were gonna sell so funny how they ended up selling like right after christmas 2002 r's which of course are super super comfy i feel like a lot of people are gravitating towards that sneaker lately so it's very cool to see got a shout out Corey from va he's been grabbing a few things from us so we greatly appreciate it nothing like a classic pair of flint blue 13 here we got the air max 95s next to the air max ones next to technically another air max model in the uh pippins but definitely a nice 3p right there that air max 95 i knew it was going to go fast because there's a lot of air max 95 connoisseurs out there and a lot of these older retro colorways are kind of hard and few and far between to find we got the university blue nine size seven and a half one thing i've been going through is a lot of kid sizes so i when i see kid sizes at the new store which have been selling actually really well for us but that retro in particular hasn't been so put that on go and it's going out sock darts got to speak about these because again another sneaker if you know you know extremely comfortable so many colorways i remember the independence day pack the red white and blue pairs and how those were going for money i remember finding these at the outlets the all black pairs at the first location and just selling those for the low and just uh it's nice when we're able to sell a very comfortable shoe for a great price then we got some crazy stuff going across the top stopping in the middle that off-white one chicago brand new pair i'm really hoping they pass inspection i'm not sure because they have a little bit of issues with one of the air fonts on the midsole but uh, we're going to give it a try because obviously it's a lot of money i don't know we haven't really gotten any good offers for them it's just crazy that a sneaker like this can go for that much money it is definitely worth it i guess if you got the money because stuff like this is just like getting rarer and rarer especially with og box brand new no yellowing all the laces all the tags the whole enchilada you could say speaking about enchiladas <laughs> we got the air jordan 5 green bean i don't know green enchilada maybe i don't i don't really know probably not but uh got those at the market no i actually didn't get those at the market shouts to the dude who brought them in from the market and sold them to us it took a few months but uh they're going out and then we got the dunk from above which have seen better days they are definitely smoked and the price definitely reflected it and one more thing real quick before we go shout out to Emmanuel from Cali for the beanie purchase. We greatly appreciate the support there. Jordan Berwin, anything for the people about the orders or the weekend or Christmas or the new year? Hope everyone had a really good Christmas. Hope all the kids out there, everyone in general got everything, go close to everything that they wanted. It's that season of giving, so just hope everyone just felt blessed, happy this Christmas. You know, I know I had a good Christmas. It was fun watching everyone open the gifts and stuff like that. So yeah, shout out to everyone. Talk about the orders real fast. I'm gonna go to that sock dart because, you know, to me, that's one of those shoes. You know, it's a classic shoe. Just a classic Nike runners. I remember when I used to coach high school, I used to wear those all the time. I used to have the all black pair. And the kids used to make fun of me because they're like, like what are those kind of shoes? But like, side are just really comfy. And it's just one of those shoes, like, if you know about them, you really know about them. That's a classic time to shoot to me. I like seeing the small stuff grow out because, you know, in the previous store, we weren't really able to move the small stuff like that, like we would have liked to. So it's kind of good seeing that we're moving them um, a lot more frequently, a lot faster than in the other stores. So definitely credit to this location for that because it's definitely helped us with moving the smaller 
inventory. Got some Pippins going out, some big bubbles. Cook, but again, a really classic Air Max right there. I like the big bubbles better than the original or the other silhouette. Didn't think I would, but I, I just like the wider toe box. Got a way runner to me, the greatest Yeezy. I know a lot of people won't say like the Nike Yeezys, but again, like even when those drop, I was just never really like a big fan of those. Just never went crazy for them. The way runners to me was just one that really set waves, in my opinion. The orange Air Max 95, like I said, there are, are a lot of just like Air Max kind of stores out there. I just like seeing just like whether it's 95, 1, 90, whatever the case may be. I like seeing just crazy different Air Maxes that you don't really see often because that's a whole nother separate market and niche, you know, away from Jordans and stuff like that. So it's always cool to learn and, you know, see something new because a lot of times when people come in for Air Maxes, especially Air Maxes that I'm not really too familiar with, I'm always like, they'll get schooled and, you know, toss something new, which is always dope. Shout out Burn because he's wearing his protection packs. He just sold the black protection pack. Definitely a new balance that's probably like, I would say like the hottest new balance model within like the last two years for sure. Super comfortable, super versatile. Um, we can do so much with them. So I think New Balance knocked it out the park with that one. So Flip 13, shout out to him. Shout out to the person who bought the beanie. We got some bread one lows with the yellow age cup to perfection, but someone's going to get a lot of good wears out of them. That's a really good shoe. And I can't talk about this bash without talking about obviously the off-white Chicago. That's just such a beautiful sneaker. Bro and I, we always talk about this shoe. God willing, one day, you know, we both have the money to complete you know the Chicago one set this is definitely one that we like to have but if you got the money definitely worth getting it and I like how this one is not really like yellowed especially on the toe box you see a lot of pairs where this is just like the like the netting or whatever the mesh is cooked this is just a really beautiful clean sneaker right here so shout out to everyone who purchased something getting a lot of good deals up on the eBay right now definitely check it out if you see something you like hit us up via DM eBay whatever the case may be yeah I hope everyone had a great Christmas um, I hope everyone got exactly what they wanted or close to what they wanted um, and this is just a great batch to come back after the Christmas season so I'm gonna start with going on the Roshi runs because like A said that was definitely a time I remember I think I owned I briefly owned a pair of those or was looking to get a pair of those when those were hot but man like when Roshi runs were part of the sneaker like conversations it was just insane these bread one lows are super fire really like the look on those especially like the the midsole I like how it's yellowed and then uppers aren't too bad at all so like Jordan said whoever's getting those is definitely gonna get some great wares love this Air Max batch right here the big bubbles and the 95s just recently got the big bubbles and i owned a pair of the anniversaries a while ago comparing the both of them um, they're both super comfortable in my opinion the bubbles are just a little more comfortable they are a little more wider around the toe box area but nonetheless both of the models are super comfortable and these 95s super super fire like jordan said it's hard to come across these like rare colorways nowadays honestly if any of those came in an eight and a half definitely would have considered um grabbing those protection packs like the guy said definitely one of those shoes that's like really popping right now especially like with all the different colorways that New Balance is popping out. As you guys can see, got the gray ones on, so black ones, can't go wrong with those. And then, Off-White Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Definitely an art piece right there to the guys, too. It's not just a shoe. It's definitely, like, a work, great work of art. And honestly, I do like the little defect that it has. It's actually kind of dope to me. It looks like uh, the air is, like, glitched, in my opinion. So that's really dope. And A is currently adding another red one low. What are the odds Super of fire. that? Two selling. Uh, Damn around the same time and they both have that yellowed midsole which is awesome yeah shout out to everyone who bought um off the ebay recently got a shout out fantasy shout out to everyone who entered the fantasy league this year shout out to team chase a bag for taking a w against crease shop and sell oh my gosh it was a 1.08 difference oh my <laughs> gosh wow i didn't i i didn't even see that i thought he had it by like a lot but uh oh he had zamir white and kittle kittle did have a good game the porter shot the bed shouts to chase a bag for for taking a very very tight victory close matchup against Cree shop and sell he's heading to the finals he was here the other day actually shouts to Jody and what did he say he said he's never won one mm -hmm. so he was uh, very serious about trying to win one and he is facing the rod father Nick who put up a crazy performance 168.28 against Brendan's best team who did not even break a hundred it happens don't worry about it that's fantasy for you Amari Cooper man 54 points Joe Flacco looks like he can possibly win a Super Bowl. I wouldn't put it past them, man. They're like, what, plus 2,000, plus 5,000, whatever. So the Rod Father is taking on Team Chase a Bag in the finals. I hit up Jody and I said, hey, man, what kind of split do you want to work out? He said, I appreciate you, bro. I need my first title so I can't.
can't split the pot. So it looks like those Damn. two are playing for $1,200 in store credit. Tip the cap. Wish them both very well. Thanks for joining the league. It's going to be a fun finals. Other than that, football, not really going to talk much about it because, uh, you know, Eagles look very shaky. A lot of funny things going on. Shouts to Lamar, though. He's definitely putting on. And uh, shouts to the dude who sold that Brock Purdy ticket. If that's a true story, I don't know if you heard about that. So dude put 2000 on Brock Purdy to win MVP. The payout on that's like 200 k Basically, when he went to minus 200, he put the ticket on, on prop swap and someone bought it for 125 k So now that ticket might not be worth anything because obviously Brock Purdy doesn't look like the MVP. But uh, shouts to all y'all watching because y'all are the real MVPs. Everyone making purchases. Appreciate y'all. Let's see what happens in the last week of 2023. What was actually? Yeah, uh, supposed to be the reimagined, right? Yeah, and there's a few other ones that let's see what you, you know, start kind of get for. Those are brand new. These are thing. And these, but I'm gonna see how, you know, which ones that we're willing to, uh, you know, work for these. Probably definitely this one since we... Since how we much would you do to start credit? Uh, I believe he has like 220, uh, 260. You guys can do a little bit more? Uh, like what? Store credit, like, oof, I was trying to get like three for store credit. I don't know you pretty much sell them, you probably get like 290 at least. After fees and stuff like that. Yeah. You said I mean, these, I'll take. Well, you said um, these are new? No, it was not. Oh, new. Okay. I mean, these are a little bit harder to move because we have like the acronyms on the wall. Yeah. And those don't even move. I mean, how much would you give me store credit on? Uh, not really, really interested because this is the one we talked about. So mm -hmm. I say let's focus on this one right here. They're selling for three, so I think we want to be able to do three. I'll do two seventy, and then two ten will be the difference. And how much would you lower these to? Four eighty. And you wouldn't offer like at least 40, 50 for these? I'm not really that interested in these. This is going to sit for us, especially for like this. Three. Max. What do you want for these? As much store credit as possible. Uh, I mean, then I could. They're probably going for like once, like. Selling probably like 160, they're selling for the like that much, maybe maybe 100, 120. Just the wrong box. He has the wrong box. Wrong box. So replacement box. It was actually for the Atmos. Yeah. The Max ones. Yeah, come on, I threw and the number and that's what he Yeah. Wrong. Let me see. This is a fairly new sneaker. That's what the box was throwing me off. Yeah. yeah. Or at least the label was. How much you say you want for these? About like, like 120 store credit. I'll probably take these for like 70. Honestly, no box. Store credit? Yeah, I'll probably take these for like 70, just no box. They're crystals, bro. So like 140 would be different. I'm trying to find Saturday. one? 100 huh? store credit? Except the fucking truck. Nah, no, no box. I'll try to move these really quickly. Okay, I'm not really that interested in the, they, they just don't move. Again, we have like the acronym that they just sent for us. Like I said, the original <laughs> deal was these plus cash on top, so. Like, 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 like he's just getting into it. Like he's just yeah. getting into it. Yeah. So like he's, he's one of those like I will never pay resale. I mean, they're only going for I mean, we can move these easy. Like I said, like the original deal was these plus cash on top. So like it's it's kind of difficult. Um, you know when we agreed on the deal basically, and then we're expecting like money on top, and then you bring like a different shoe. It's kind of like you know it throws a wrench into like the deal kind of because like we talked about a certain deal, and then like you add something else to the deal, makes it a little bit more difficult. How much you say for these? Uh, I'll do 70 on those, so 140 will be the difference. Like every time you go down, and 80 store 270. 280? 270 probably. He's like I said, bro, he's new to this shit, so he just goes right on. Like I said, the, right the, on the original deal was 220 on top. To like that was confirmed and already. So and like I said, we we'll move these easily like if like let's say you pass on it. Um, well they said he said 280, 260 ballpark, so I was trying to get at least 280 from them. Like I said, like these are gonna real quickly, like if you don't buy them today, like there's someone right now waiting. I was like, bro. Alright, I'll do these two. And then, and then we okay. were sitting there. And how you want to pay the, the difference? Having breakfast yesterday. Okay. And he's like, oh, I wonder if I won the kid Samba. Is it just flexible for? Yeah, I won. Like, right. I'm like, you ain't even like check the day up. He's like, nah. He's like, I just saw that it went through my account. I was like, do they run right. smaller? Because they're SBs and not really. Yeah, I, I really think so. I'm between nine and a half. I got mine in a nine. The, the Samba? And nine fits me perfectly fine. So they run big. Is that retail? Oh, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They run big. Wow. In my opinion, they run big. Wow. What size you got your, your fours in? Nine. Yeah, they run big? Nine and a half. And then oh, you got an eight, right? No, they run, they run nice. I'm they run like eight and a half. 
Actually, because I'm a nine and a half normally. So, so I'm, I'm you a, have a nine or no? You don't have a nine. Like Yo, weird to me. he was about to cut though. It's weird to me. Because fours normally run true to size. Yeah, but they went to, the they changed the cut. The toe box is longer. This is higher. Um, there's more padding like up here in the tongue. That's why they both run big. And probably, I'm going to assume the military fours are probably going to run like these two too. They're probably going to run big. Because the OG, um, the military fours got the 89 cut too. Just like these two. So. I'll take them. All right, bet. So I believe it was one you want to back for these or yeah, you use your code? I'll take them all. You look at them, you agree on number, you just ship the shoes. We can do that for you. Just Yeah, next time you want to do that, just, just hit us up. Appreciate it, man. No Thank problem, bro. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. So what do you want for these two and these? These two I'll probably hold off on. Um, these are the chips that work here. I'm not sure what. But the two jerseys, so I'll have to send a picture to him to see um, what he will do on those. Most jerseys, these, and he'll pass on these two? Yeah, those two. These are just just a little too beat up. Too beat up? Yeah, because the bottoms are starting to go through. Okay. Um, and these type of weird this is just don't really move. Um, these two, he'll possibly take depending on what you're asking for, what you're trying to trade for. Um, it so just depends on that. What was the price for that? This is 325. What was this one? No. Uh, let me see what we have that up. I think the Heritage might have been up for like 140. But let me just double check. So, yeah, we had the Heritage up for 140. 140? Uh, mm hmm. Let me see if I do better on those. So, I was thinking, I guess, uh, yeah, 60, 40, 40. 60, 40, 40? Yeah. Okay. And then, if I don't even say you don't want them, but if you did, I could do 20, 20. Just to throw it in there, like that. I mean, it's cheap enough price, so you guys could probably still make some money on it. All right, let me see. And it would be obviously store credit to trade in for one of these shoes, or, or rather, money in for one of these shoes, and I'll put cash for the rest. Okay, um, so I could do like 120 on the heritage. 120 on the heritage, okay. How about this is 325? Could you guys do 254? You said 325? That's what it says on the sticker, right? Okay. Um, like, let's say if, or rather, before we do that, how much would you? Well, these are, I'll, I'll have to check. This one I gotta look into. Okay. Um, Those are used like once, once or twice max. Where do you get these from? Well, uh, this one. Let me take these two over to him and let me see what he says. Um, give me one second. No worries, bro. Like 30 a piece. 30 a piece for both of them? For the jerseys. Uh, you say you want 40 here, that's fine. Um, so 100 for the three? Yeah. And if I did 20, 20, would that work? Um, if I did it that low? What are you trying to get now? Let me, so I have a visual. So I know. So let's say. You want these? You want it? So let's say if we did. Well, I'm going to do one of the three. I don't know which ones yet. Uh, between the pandas, this or that. So I'm thinking these are three, two, five, right? Mm -hmm. If let's say, if we do store credit 150 for everything, and then can we do these 250 and I put down 100? Would that work? Um. So I asked him about these, he said the best he can do probably on these um, was 280. 280 was the best on, on that? Yeah. And then I don't know what we had to pay the highs on, because that one I just I just gave to you to check out, but yeah, yeah. I can check the market to see um, where it's at. And I could, yeah, well I was deciding between, I'm only gonna take one pair. It's either this one, that one, or that one, so I'm deciding. Because I was trying to see if you guys could do, let's say, store credit 150 for everything, and then I put 100 down on these for 250, I know he said 280. Okay. How you guys doing? You guys doing? Because said these you said have no box, right? And this one's missing the lid. <laughs> yeah, no, no box, no lid. No box, no lid. That one we have up for 150, so let me just see if I can drop that too, so, so you like you have an idea basically. Because uh -huh. you said you could drop these to what price? Uh, 120 I could do. To 120. Yeah. And then honestly, I'll run, I run a buck on the dump highs. If you want uh -huh. to do that? You essentially could get two pairs too if you wanted to. Because like it'll be like this stuff for the dunks yeah, and then um two fifty for those. This one is like I said it's um one twenty and I can look into those two again. Um Yeah, because I can do those cheap just to make it like a one fifty total yeah. in the store credits and then try to put down for the other one. And you said the hoodie was 80, right? Mm-hmm. So you said for, for 
for sure you can only do 280 on these. You can't go for 250. 280. 280. Like we only add them for like two weeks, maybe going on three, I think. Um, and they're off at 350. Mm -hmm. So if you did those 280, you guys could do 150 for in store credit for all that? Um, Cause right now we're at, what is it right now, one? That's one. One, one for everything? That's one for these three. One for three. Yeah, cause remember you said 40, then 30, 30. Okay, you said 30, 30. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how you doing? Um, if I took these two, I'd uh, probably be like 25 for the both of them, honestly. 20, 25 This is gonna be a 99 cent auction. We probably wanna get that $10, maybe $5 back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll do like 125 for everything. So essentially you can take those, and then the dunks, ninety-five dollars on top, or you, ready, bro? you yeah, could I'm do. Um, and he's, he's he's getting the mystics as well. Mystics. Um, I'm gonna try these. Soon. I'm not getting these. Yeah. Well, and these are only have the dunks now, like the Jordan one ones. Well, Just the Nike. Oh, the 85s? Nah, no, no, 85. And what's the best you do on the hoodie? I gave you. I said that's on eight for eighty. You said. Uh. Let me know. Just let me know. Honestly, just let me know what you, what you like. What's the bundle you want to get? Yeah. And I can let you know exactly. So, so like I know exactly what to like. Yeah. You know, combine right, that. So, so I'm leaning more towards these right now. So you said 280 minus 125. So I owe you 155. You're at 80 for that. Yeah, we don't have that hoodie up, honestly. Um, I was looking at like brand new. They go for like two. So that's all I'm saying, like 80. Could you do, let's see, so 95 for something, I'm sure did that for the 280. So I'm just these? trying to find out if I want to bundle these with them or the hoodie with it. Just give me one yeah, second. let me know. 280 on these, right? Yep. All right, this will give me 125 for everything. Mm -hmm. So I'd owe you 155 for yeah, these. Mm -hmm. And then this was 80, let's say we did 60, 215 okay. for total. So 215 okay. for the shoes and the hoodie. Would that work? Um, call it 65, make it a flat 220. 220? Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, do so that. you're doing these, that. Right. Let me double check the, mm -hmm. the melody. Yeah, it's a nice one, honestly. Mm -hmm. How do you like this pattern? Oh, they fit. Yes, sir. Uh, can I do... I'm going to do a card. I'm going to do 20 cash and then the 206 card. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sure. How you put it? Yeah, I'm gonna roll. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's rough. I'm far off. I'm at like five, 540. Yeah, these at two. I dropped them to two. I mean, these at 250. I dropped them to two. Mm -hmm. These at 225. I dropped them to 190, and then I dropped these to 150. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's tough. Okay. Um, can we stay in the threes, even closer to fours, maybe? I can't get. I can get that close, honestly, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. Yeah, that's tough. So if I put one back, can we stay in that three range? Which one are you taking back? Try to know okay. um, where we at with you. How much you want for these? Uh, 150. I was back for 150. those. Okay, and you want two for these and two for these? Um, I think I was at 290 for those. Let's double check to make sure. Yeah, I was at 190 for babes. 190. Okay. That's two. Mm -hmm. So that's 390 right there. That's 390 right here. And then I want these babe, so what's this right here? Uh 340 I believe. Let me just double check that because I told you 150 plus 190, 340. Mm -hmm. 320. Would you just say you said 320? Yeah. I could do 330. Fuck. That's cool. Alright, bet. How you wanna pay? Vemos uh Apple Pay card. Go with the cash down. Oh, I bet. You want bags for these two? Yeah. It's the Mystic Red size 12 and the Babes size 12. Oh no, you missing me. I didn't see your the other 20. You don't count it anymore. 
go. Share yours. Have a good one. Happy New Year, guys. You too. Yes, Thank you. Have a good night. Got a lot of work done today. Got a lot of orders out today. You know, light Tuesday. I feel like not a lot of people are around right now. Everyone's kind of in the house chilling after Christmas. We will be at God's Soul on January 20th. That's why I already announced that, but it is official. We will be there. We're going to be closed here. We're going to be there. It's going to be a Saturday. It's be a great event at the Meadowlands. We're going to have a table. We're going to be buying all day. Maybe we'll bring some merch. We're going to be filming all day. So if you're into sneakers, vintage clothing, buying selling and trading all that good stuff you definitely want to hit up that event because again it's in jersey you know it's called new york but it's in jersey not too hard to get there there's parking all that good stuff should be a safe great event for everyone to just kind of you know be around like-minded individuals who like awesome sneakers and awesome clothing and uh whatever else is awesome one and done and we'll get out of here use the mess back here we got a lot going on see you guys tomorrow peace YouTube, we are back. It is Wednesday, rainy day, Chronicles. Let's get right to it. As you can see, this top row right here, we have a Flint 13 going out. We sold one yesterday, selling one today. We got a DMP Gratitude going out. It's an amazing time right now that you can get such a iconic looking sneaker for such an affordable price. You know, back when I was in high school, college, you know, if you wanted a Concord, you were paying like 350, 400, and that was on the low end. So it's nice to see people can get that shoe for around retail. We got the Laney 5 going out, brand new, something you don't see too often. My personal opinion, and this was one of the best fives that came out just because the leather quality is a lot better as you can see the laces are different they have that rounded off uh, kind of OG lace feel a lot of the other fives are all just flat laces and you got this tumbled nicer leather than a lot of that plasticky leather that they were doing on the fire reds back in the day so definitely a classic right here size 10 brand new brings back a lot of memories for sure we got the 81 point Kobe's that's a Kobe that uh, you know is not as popular as the low top versions but obviously he got buckets in those I believe 81 points represents the game he put up 81 points against Jalen Rose and the Raptors, was it? I believe so. We got a pretty cooked pair of Dunk off-whites that I dropped the price on because I felt like we just had them for too long. So I'm glad these are going out. Hopefully eBay knows what they're doing with those. Ceramic Dunks, I feel like a lot of those went down in value. Then we got the Reebok Rail. This is a Glenn Robinson Big Dog Edition. Milwaukee Buck colorway. Probably had this shoe for what, like two years now? But uh, you know, if you look at the market, there's like none on it. So usually if I find something where there's nothing on the market, you you know leave something up pretty high, gradually drop the price as it's not selling. We got some Yeezys, we got some Black New Balance. DMP 6 is those are like the real deals i believe they're called something like that some nice jerseys brand new michelin s brand new mariano rivera we got the mets de grom then we got this awesome reprint crazy undertaker t and we got a lot of work to do today so hopefully we can get all this stuff packed up and shipped out asap jordan burrow and anything for the orders for the people kobe ones that was the first kobe i ever had remember those kobe's were sitting at the outlet my mom got me two pairs of those i remember i had the red pair and the blue pair to me a really good shoe right there it's not as popular as those like i said but definitely really good shoe 95 you just look at it just looking from where I'm at like I'm not really close to it but I'm a little distance away that leather is just really buttery the gratitudes I feel like that's one shoe we can never keep in here flints indigos ceramics I remember that should be like a three four hundred dollar shoe where it's at now it's kind of crazy the university red off price pretty cooked but again like I feel like we have like two or three of those and they move pretty quickly all black I forgot the number on those new bounces but the overkills kind of like those honestly probably not a model I would really wear that often but definitely a shoe that you know I kind of like wash orange Mariana Rivera jersey next to a Jordan jersey is just pretty fire the reprint the wrestling t-shirt and then the, the ground Nike jersey yeah I'm gonna go with the Laney's first because the quality is actually pretty insane on those I think it's one of the most underrated colorways the Laney's blue and yellow and that white definitely pops on those the gratitudes like we always say like it's a great holiday sneaker it's definitely one of those shoes that's been uh sun for us in like multiple sizes the ceramics I think that packs was supposed to re-release next year along with the other two so pretty crazy to sell one of those today you know off-white dunks glad to see those finally go out best packs from off-white as far as the dunk lows go those reeboks definitely scream like 90s basketball and i really like the milwaukee bucks colorway on that and the jordan jersey i really like this one out of the three colors um, that they have this is one of my favorites black on red really fire remember when jordan dropped buckets on that jersey so fire to see that go out really fire and since we were speaking about that we also have another brand new size medium in stock retails for 300 bucks we're selling them for 200 bucks so if you see this video you can hit us up and say hey i want that medium black jersey for 200 bucks and We'll sell it to you. Anyways, we're gonna talk about all this stuff, see what happens today. Yeah, we got some stuff that we bought today. Didn't get them on camera because the first guy didn't want to be on camera, and then the second guy, bro, was doing a review on the, the DB3s. Check it out, about to drop it, or actually, by the time you guys see this video, it's already been dropped, so check it out. First guy, he sold us some Bordeaux 7s, the 2015 pair, and he also sold us a front seven, both nine and a half. I'm gonna try to put them out for a good price, but 
again this pair you don't really see too often good pair right here really love this pair to me the best seven they ever made the other guy i'm missing two shoes but he sold us a the co jp the co japan midnight navy ones and a ten and a half and a hyper royal one and a ten and a half as well this is just stuff that we don't have up so after this burn's gonna flick this up on ebay but we have a brand new pair plus ten and a half utopia all whites really clean again nothing crazy just utopia on the side that's basically what you're paying for you're paying for the utopia but yeah just a regular white on white we got a classic fire at five from 2020 again the quality on this pair is really nice this shoe took so 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 long to hit like the three 275 threes but i'm, I'm kind of happy to see that they're there now because we've been buying them since 2020 and market is down on a lot of stuff but like it's always good to have stuff like this cherry 11s i was just thinking it yesterday just like it's really good to have stuff like that because it may not be the most expensive or jaw dropping sneaker right now and not as hype as like off-whites and other stuff that people want right now but it's always good to have that stuff stocked up in the back because everyone just wants a you know a true simple J. If we can have that for them, that's always a good thing. This shoe right here, I kind of knew what it was already because this is the only shoe with a yellow label. Actually, there's like one more, but this is a four. So that stock pair of Kruger fours. This is a pair that we used to sell all the time back in like 2020 when we reopened. I'm not the biggest fan of these. That's some electric green sixes right here. And then we sold a reimagined three, so we gotta put another one up in a ten and a half. But slow day, gloomy day, so that's what we got going on today. We got sneakers and clothing being put up online. The guys are editing videos and getting that stuff ready. Catch you guys early. It's two o'clock. What's going on, man? How are you? Oh gosh, how about yourself? Uh, same old same. Trying to get lower the collection of straight I have. I got a whole bunch of Yeezys and Jordans. I just gotta get through all of them. Um, how much you asking for the Yeezys? For the Yeezys, I was looking at three. Yeah. What about the Babes? The Babes, I'm not 100% sure because you can't really find them on the market. The last ones were sold were the Batman ones. And they were like super heavy in the price, like 600. But these are like used at the bottom and shit, so I already know that. I don't throw me an offer or anything. Yeah, bro, can you give me the black light, please? And this next door, right? Yeah, I brought it to A. And then the swatch is brand new. I just don't have the receipt. I got that from my boy's little shop. I feel like he's off. Be honest with you, I did too. But I got them from some kid that I got other shoes from, and they were all legit. I got them all legit checked. So okay, I'm not a I'm not a big easy expert, but the font is definitely like throwing me off, especially with the inside too. Like the font just looks like too like too bold and too spacious. Okay. I'm just for the black light. Yeah, yeah, dude. Real. You would know better than me. I don't know shit. <laughs> nah, I just I, bought them from the kid. If, and the reason, why, like, I got them from some kid that was selling them. This was, like, in two, they came out in 2016. I got them yeah. 2017. It was some kid that I saw on, like, Craigslist. Uh -huh. And he was like, I got a bunch of Yeezys for sale. Come to find out he's selling his brother's collection. And, like, three of them had the tags with the Adidas receipts. So, this one, and then I have the core reds that I'm, like, iffy about. But... Like I said, I got the core reds authenticated and they said they were legit, so I just never brought these back. Oh. Oh my God, so good. Yeah, but just look at the fog. You look at the fog. How do you guys authenticate? I like I said, I don't know even how okay. to tell if they these are. These are usually difficult for me, I'm gonna be honest. But like I said, the first thing that comes like just look at this font and like I'll show you a easy box. First of all, the color of the box is different. The 350. Yeah. The shape and the color is different. And then you just look at the labels. You can just tell like the two totally different labels. Obviously it's the size and all that, but yeah. if you just look at like the space between the one and the zero and then the one and the twelve. Like these I'll probably pass on. I'll probably pass on these two. Um, and I'll probably pass on the watch and the shirt. The shirt. I think we still have one of those. Okay. Um, and that anti-social stuff, like that type of stuff, just doesn't really move well yeah, for yeah. us. And the watch, yeah, same thing. Like the watch, you could probably bring next door to see if you'll be interested in it. In it but I don't think so. Um, and how much did you want for these? The one Batman's just sold for seven hundred in similar condition, no box. I've seen the same one up online with box and everything for 200 different size they're definitely nice though for sure well if anything i can bring them back when i have i'm gonna bring the other jordans and shit that i have 
Yeah, no, no, no worries, man. Yeah, that was it. These, I'll probably just pass on it about two, just see what they appear online for two. Um, and then these, these I'm almost certain these are no good. And I'll probably pass on the, the accessories and clothing. All right, no problem. Yeah, sorry about that. No, you're good, dude. And now, so the only thing on the Yeezy is the boxes, what's throwing you off is the, the shoe? Ins the inside tag too. Okay. Just like, from dealing with Yeezys, again, like, the space between them is just, like, look at the font. Like, I don't want to take the box up, but like, yeah. if you look at, like, this one, mm -hmm. and then you look at the inside, you're gonna see, like, it's totally different. Like, it doesn't look clean. It looks very spacious. Um, and it looks like you just slapped a sticker on the inside, honestly, so. All right, cool. Thank yeah. you, man. No problem, man. It. Have a good one. Yes, you as well. Thank you. It's gonna take a while, just to say you like foams. Got bad feet. You said that's bad feet? I got oh, bad oh, feet. Oh, what I said. Uh, so this is your stuff? Yeah. Okay. And what are you looking for, for your stuff? Yeah. You gotta have a price, a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. What you got? About a thousand dollars. If I just went in your meat, I'm starting off at that. I still get the red ones like that. Say it again? I know I'm telling him. Oh, man. Take these two, right? Not a top dog. I think, I can see, I can, I can, I can check it out. I got resident figures, too. Did you put the Yeezys in the box? No, I didn't put them. They, that, that, you that's, Jesus, you just gotta wipe them down. Like, yeah. So did you have a price for like the whole lot or something? Or of the shoes that you were looking for? This your stuff, bro. Oh, it's all your shoes? This his stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, you gotta come up with a price. A lot of this stuff is very used and... Is this like mold? Oh, I'm not sure. No, that's, that's sure, sure. That was in the rain on that. No, I ain't gonna... Yeah, you gotta think of a price. Uh, what you what you want for everything? The Pele Pele, the sneakers. Oh, man, what about this? Oh, you got some figures in here? You don't got no number for like everything. No. Some ballpark. One hundred, two hundred, five hundred, thousand, twelve thousand. Jacket and everything. And you gave it between a thousand and twelve. Is that where what he wanted? Roughly? Yeah, that's what he said. Like a thousand? Alright, we can look into it. And that's what the figures do? Because I know the figures worth a lot of money. And this is stuff you didn't go through yet, right? Yeah, I didn't go through that stuff yet, but some shit's in the wrong box. Yeah, I got you. I'm trying to figure out what's what. Oh, are these like are there shoes in the boxes or? Oh, uh, that's empty boxes. This is like all the shoes. What, what it is? The one like ninety six is right there, and then some six frames of foams in here. So the thousand twelve hundred might be tough, looking at a lot of the condition and stuff, um, and just like it's gonna take a lot of time to clean all this stuff. Uh, let's see what's up with the Pele Pele. How many pairs is it? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And what way of payment do you have? Do you have like Zelle, Apple Pay, Venmo? Nothing Zell, like that. You can sell it to me. Alright, alright, worst case. You don't have cash at me. Uh, nah, I mean, if, depending on the amount, we could try to, you know, I could see if we got cash. That's what you're at for everything? For sure. Gotcha. And you said you want to be in like the thousand, twelve hundred range for everything with the figures and shit. I mean, I'd assume if a lot of these were in better condition, we could definitely get there. It's just the condition stuff. 
I feel like we'd want to be at like 700 for everything, somewhere in that range. You must buy, you must buy right right yeah, here. Yeah, a thousand. A thousand, really? Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I don't know if it's worth that much. If I knew I could get a thousand, I wouldn't be offering you 700. So hearing, hearing us say that, do you have like a counter or you, you want to be stuck at where you're at? Give me 800 for everything. 800? I was going to say I could probably meet you at 800 for everything, but that would probably be the top. Is a knife included, or is that just in that's case? Included too. That's in case. Oh, I thought that was in case we made a bad offer. Yeah. So. What is oh, this? It's crazy though. The fishing knife. Yeah. If you fish, just in case. Cut him out. Robert E. Lee. <laughs> um, you want to see if we have cash? I assume probably would be best. Yeah. Got you. Give me one second. Let me see what's up. It's a busy day. Not much to say. A little dead, but got a lot of work done. Got a lot of stuff online. I did some videos. Uh, I know Berman's getting a video ready for when is that? Oh, that's dropping tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, mm -hmm. which is the 28th. Got that going on. Wrapping up the end of the year. Just trying to finish the the year and the week strong, honestly. Just, you know, just trying to have a good week. Trying to do everything we're supposed to do. Trying to get better every day. So, yeah, that's enough for me. Berman, anything for the people. Check out our TikTok and Instagram out. <laughs> Top Shelf Kick on both platforms i post most of the tiktoks that i make on top shelf thrift so any of your views sneaker unboxings like that is going to be on top shelf thrift put it right here also we got a phone finally got the phone back up and working y'all could check it out put our info next to our plaque over there email phone sorry about the handwriting but that's all the info if you guys want to need to contact us as far as selling i'm buying trading anything like that it'll be here in the store so if you guys ever want to take a picture before you go home it'll be right there so yeah we're burning just Said, just want to touch on one point you do have a phone i guess call us be smart with your questions don't don't ask us how much we would pay for your used item over the phone when you don't know the condition and stuff like that so phone's back up when it's done let's go let's go see i can touch the rim today pause pause <laughs> he was practicing on saturday just saying okay okay here we go here we go oh getting somewhere we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere <laughs>